Hello, this is Justin at the Tech Train here, and if, like me, you're struggling with exam season at the moment, one of the problems that you often have is when coursework and exams are weighted unevenly. Here's an example. Uh, we've got an exam here that is worth 20% of the overall grade, another exam that's also worth 20% of the overall grade, and coursework that's worth 60% of the overall grade. So when you have weightings like this, how do you work out what the actual um, final grade should be? Here we've got percentages, so this is the student's mark centered. So this student got 50% in this exam, 50% in this exam, and 50% in this coursework. Now, of course, if you were to average those out with a simple average formula, you're gonna end up with 50. That's no problem at all, that's correct. Here is the weighted, um, result as a comparison here because let's look at how this should work out if we were to increase the grade let's say in the exam let's say in this exam instead of getting 50 percent they got 80 percent see how that changes over here now the average of 80 and 50 and 50 is 60 but that's not the actual weighted grade the actual weighted grade is only 56 because although they got a high mark in the exam the exam itself was only worth 20%, and so that doesn't have as much impact on the final grade as it would if you just averaged all three and they were equal. To compare that, let's look at the coursework. What happens if they get 80% in the coursework? Again, if we change that to 80, you'll see, again, the average, of course, is still 60, because 50, 50 and 80, when average, makes 60. But the weighted average is 68, much higher than the 56 we got just now, because of course 80% in the coursework is worth much more since the coursework is 60% overall in a weighting. Uh, so this average here doesn't work. We need a weighted average. And what I'm gonna do in this video is show you practically step by step how you could work out, uh, or how you do work out the weighted, but I'm also gonna show you a handy formula that's built into Excel that does it as well. Now you can skip ahead if you just want the formula, if you understand how to create weightings, but you just want the quick formula. So do just jump ahead, I'll put the link in the description to the timestamp when that happens. But for many people, it's helpful rather than just seeing the formula to understand how that formula works. What is it actually doing? So that's what I'm going to show you uh, to begin with. So let's just say that we aren't going to use the clever formula, <clears throat> excuse me, built into Excel. We're going to work out how we would do this step by step. And that'll help us to understand the formula better. So here we have a second spreadsheet and I've not got the weighting uh, here. Um, so normally what you would do is this, you would take these two numbers, so the weighting, in this case, this uh, exam is worth 20%. So we take the weighting and the student's marks, in this case 50, and we multiply the two together. So under here, we could simply have a formula that says equals the weighting multiplied by the mark the student actually got. And we can replicate that across for all three. Now, of course, the students got 50% in each one, but because the exam one and two are only worth 20% each, we've only given them a thousand. Whereas the coursework is worth three times more than the exam, 60% rather than 20. So of course their mark is three times more than it is in the exam. So here are our three um, products or three multiplications. The next thing we would need to do is to add those three together. So let's add up, we'll do sum, and we'll just simply select these three cells here. Oops. So we're now multiplying that together and that gets us to 5,000. But now what we have to do is we have to divide that by whatever the total of these is. Now, in most situations, these three numbers will add up to 100%. Uh, but it's not necessarily gonna always be the case. So we could take that 5,000 and divide it by 100, gives us our 50, which of course we know um, is the right answer in this situation. But it's, it is possible that you may have, um, say a raw mark that actually is, is out of 120 or something instead of 100. So what we'll do is we'll take this 5,000 
Um, so we'll say we'll equal this cell here and we will divide it by the sum of all of the weightings, which are these here. So there we are. Oops, I forgot the bracket. There we go. And that gives us our 50, which is the right answer, of course. And if we just do the tests we did earlier on, and I change this exam here from 50 to 80, you'll see that jumps up to 56 over here, which is right. And if I change the coursework to 80 instead, it jumps up to 68. You can see how we're not getting just the 50 and 60 we would if we were averaging it. Uh, we are doing it as a weighted average. So this is how to create a weighted average step by step. This is what's going on. However, Excel has a clever built-in function that does all of that for you automatically. I like the weightings and then close our brackets. Now, if I press enter, that gives us the 5,000. What we need to do here, of course, is then divide that by whatever the weightings add up to. So if the weightings add up to 100, which they usually will, here 20 plus 20 plus 60, 100, then we can simply divide that whole thing by 100, and that gives us 50. And we can see how if I change this percentage mark the student got to 80, we get our 56%, whereas if I change the coursework to 80, we're getting 68%. So we can see that's a significant increase over the statistical average of those three grades. So the formula then equals sum product, then in the, in the brackets, the first part are the student's grades, then a comma, then the second part is the weightings, and then you can divide the whole lot by whatever the weightings add up to in total. So that's it, that's the formula. And that's how to create a weighted average or weighted average score for students doing exams and coursework. I hope that was useful to you. Um, I will place this spreadsheet in uh, the Patreon page. So uh, you can download this spreadsheet as you can download every resource I make in my videos. Uh, just hop, uh, hop over to patreon.com forward slash the tech train. Um, if you like the video, found this useful, please do just pause for a second um, and give it a like. That does make a real difference to the channel. And of course, if you've uh, not subscribed already and you found this useful, do hit the subscribe button so that you're notified when new videos go live. I do upload videos uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, five o'clock UK time, and that's 11 in the morning central time. If any questions, any comments, any problems, do leave a comment below. Otherwise, thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.